بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی ول اسٹارٹ آر نیو ٹاپک وچ از نیڈ فش اینڈ پوٹری لیٹس بگن ود دی پارٹ ون Meat can be classified as meat, poultry or fish. Meat are the red meats that includes all variety of beef, veal and lamb. These type of meats are commonly used here. Pole, turkey, chicken and duck are the categories of poultry in which we consume chicken very frequently. While fish is a broadly defined term which comes under the category of aquatic animals. but more narrowing defined to designate those with fins, gills, backbone, and a skull. Let's have a structure of meat, which is divided into two parts, muscle tissue and connective tissue. Water is primary constitute in muscle. Actually, it is about 75% water. The next most abundant substance is protein. which constitutes about 18% of the total muscle content. The amount of fat is highly variable, but commonly ranges from 4 to 10% of muscle tissue content. Carbohydrates, which is primarily in the form of glycogen, plus a small amount of glucose and glucose 6-phosphate. It accounts for a little more than 1% of the total. Vitamins, minerals, and trace amounts of various organic compounds complete the picture. The specific composition of muscle tissue varies from muscle to muscle and even from one spot to another with a muscle. So, let's have a look on the structure and the composition in detail and also the organization of these muscle and connective tissue. Structure of muscle tissue. Let's have an overview. Muscle, it is made up of fibers, a lot of fibers that are binded together to form a muscle. These fibers contain sarcomeres and these sarcomeres are made up of two types of filaments. which is actin filament and myosin filament. They are also known as thin filament and thick filament. Let's have a look over the cross-section of muscle. You can see there the muscle fiber or cell on rightmost top side of the figure from where a myofibril is coming out. When we are zooming this myofibrils, we can see sacromere there. And over the larger image of the sacromere, we can see uh, M line, Z disc, and different bands inside. And when we look carefully into the sacromere, we can see the thick and thin filament which can be seen in the figure at last. Let's have a very close look over the muscle fiber of this muscle. Skeletal muscle is cylindrical in shape with multinuclear muscle. Which, are, which is known as muscle fiber. So, fiber is a bundle of myofibrils and sacroplasm encased in the sacrolemma. Skeletal muscle cells are united together by a highly organizational internal arrangement. So, when we pull this single muscle fiber out, we can find Myofibril. These myofibrils are the linear bundle of several myofilaments that contains a number of sacromeres. So muscle fiber contains many myofibrils. And when we take a portion of this myofibril, we can see it is made up of 
and interesting structures known as thick and thin filaments. You can see that in the picture. But of course, muscle cell is a part of a bigger organized structure. So if we look at this bone and skeletal muscle that attaches on it, we can cross section the skeletal muscle. If you look at the cross section of different portions of the muscles, which can be seen, muscles contain an outer connective tissue layer, which is known as the epimysium. As we look one of these portions of muscle here, it is known as fascicle. The fascicle also contains other internal structures and the outer sort of connective membrane tissues known as perimysium. And if you pull out one of these other internal structures of this fascicle, the portion of the muscle is this where the muscle fiber is. And the muscle fiber contains a connective tissue wrapping around it known as endomysium. And rem remember that uh, a muscle fiber is the muscle cell. So this is that we have made in the beginning. Also the muscle fiber contains a membrane known as sacrolemma. And again, if you remember, if you take one of the internal structure of the muscle fiber, we have myofibril. And the myofibril contain thin filaments and thick filaments that I have told you before. So as I told you in the beginning, that muscle fiber contains many myofibrils, which are specialized internal intracellular structures and the myofibrils are the ones that contain thick filaments and thin filaments. The thick and thin filaments are the important components of this myofibril and this is altogether present in sacromel. What is sacromel? It is a portion of a myofibril consisting of the area between two Z lines. That runs from one Z line to another Z line. That is one thin filament Z line to another thin Z line. Okay, if we zoom into this one sacromere, here we have the thin filaments made up of the actin. And the center of the sacromere where we have the M line or the H line, which is also known as the H zone. And from the H line, in the center, we have thick filaments, which are made up of protein, which is known as myosin. So we can see the sacromere does have two types of protein which is actin, which it is all in thin filament and the myosin, which is in the thick filament. Sacromere runs from one Z line to another Z line, as I told you. And this is the smallest contractile unit of muscle. So you can say, and so, so as, a, as a sacromere contracts, or when a lot of sacromere contacts, this is when the muscle contract. The body moves, for example. Let's see what is thick and thin filament, which are present in sacromere. The thicker and longer type of myofilaments composed of myosin molecules joined together to form a screw-like thick and elongated filament is known as thick filament. While thin myofilament is formed by the helical twisting of two strands of polymerized actin. So we can see the thick myofilament is made up of myosin, while the thin myofilament is made up of actin. What are myosin and actin? 
Myosin, actin, and tropomyosin are the myofibril protein, which is referred to as the muscle protein. Myosin is the comparatively long, thin protein molecule, while actin is myofibril protein existing primarily in two forms, F-actin and G-actin. G-actin is much smaller. It can aggregate to form F-actin, while F-actin is very long and its molecular weight is extremely large, ranging into the millions. Tropomycin is considered considerably smaller than myosin, actually only about one-fourth as long. Actin and myosin unite to form an important myofibril protein, which is known as actomyosin. The formation of the actomyosin is reversible reaction, which is catalyzed by adenosine triphosphate, that is ATP. Let's have a look on the mechanism of contraction. You can see at number one in the figure where myosin has hydrolyzed adenosine triphosphate, that is ATP, and become reoriented and energized. While in figure two, as the ADP get attached to myosin head, myosin heads bind to actin, forming cross bridges. At number two. When myosin cross bridges are formed, they start to rotate towards center of the sacromere. You can see this in number three. When ATP is attached as myosin heads bind ATP, the cross bridges detach from actin. You can see that in number four. Again, after the detachment, the same cycle goes on. The contraction cycle continues if ATP is available and calcium activated factor level in the sacroplasm is high. Calcium activated factor is a proteolytic enzyme which is activated by calcium. It contributes to the tenderizing of eating meat. Let's have a quick look over the muscle fiber again. Muscle fiber is made up of a lot of myofibrils. And the myofibrils contain sacromere. These sacromere are made up of many thick and thin filaments. The sacromere is the area that starts from Z disc, from one Z disc to another Z disc. Or you can see the Z lines. Region in a myofibril where the thin myofilaments of actin adjoin, creating a dark line that defines the end of a sacromere is a Z line. Here you can also see the I band. I band are the light region on either side of the Z line in a sacromere. It consists of non overlapping myofilaments of actin. The M line may be referred to as H line as well or, a, or H band. It is a region. In the center of the sacromere, where only thick myofilaments of myosin occurs. While A band is a total portion of the sacromere in which thick and thin filaments overlap, sorry, thick and thin myofilaments overlap, that includes the H band or the H zone. So I hope it till now it is clear. And you uh, are much in a better understanding of this muscle fiber.